An addiction is a condition that often carries a major stigma. Addictions are not only physical things we can consume like drugs or alcohol, but can also include virtually anything from activities like gambling to a seemingly harmless item such as chocolate. And it's estimated that worldwide, 246 million people suffer from addiction. In the United States, there are about 14,000 plus addiction and mental health treatment facilities, and that number is growing every day. Millions of people are being treated every year, but many more are in need of treatment, which greatly increases the need for additional rehab facilities. Dr. Paul Kenny is the director of the Experimental Therapeutics Institute at Mount Sinai Medical Center in New York City. So addiction and mental health issues are some of the biggest problems that we face here in the U.S. and other developed nations. And in emerging economies, it's the same problem. There is no quick and simple remedy for drug dependence. However, some experts believe we need to invest in long-term care with medical evidence-based solutions. And one way to do that is through brain science. And we know now that the brain responds in dramatic ways when illicit drugs and even legal drugs are used. There's massive remodeling that occurs in the brain, and if we have to understand those types of changes. Here in South Florida, the Florida House Experience is the only full-service mental health and addiction treatment center innovating the use of neurorehabilitation. Established in 2001, the Florida House Experience is a 220-bed medical and behavioral institution for mental health and substance abuse. Our mission and vision is to provide the best quality care, integrating behavioral health, medicine, as well as something new and unique that's cutting edge that can change the way addiction is treated in this country. I'm about to uh, measure this, this patient's brain. I'm prepping the skull and the face. At Florida House Experience, they're finding new ways to treat addiction and mental health using a neurorehabilitation model. Quantitative EEG guided neurofeedback incorporates science and outcome measurements into a historically unscientific industry and sets them apart from most other substance abuse treatment centers in the country. We're looking at electrical potential within the brain, and we do brain imaging in order to get a handle of where ab reactions are occurring within the brain. So we look at hyperactivity, too much activity, and hypoactivity, not enough activity. So we measure their progress. Florida House Experience is not only innovating a new way to treat addictions and mental illness, they're also finding encouraging results. The people that receive quantitative EEG guided neurofeedback actually have a greater chance of getting and staying clean and sober than those patients that do not receive the services. What drives all of us is that we can change people's lives and really impact them in a long-term way, not just short, give them a short-term fix, but really affect them uh, long-term in terms of their health and wellness. John Doe checked into Florida House Experience a year ago. And since successfully completing the program, his life has changed for the better. I've been trying to conquer my alcoholism on my own through AA for the last four or five years and nothing worked. But when they came here, they had a psychiatrist, they had neurofeedback, and they, they, they diagnosed probably within two weeks of me being here that I had a serious stool diagnosis. The true mission is to change the lives of people. Giving people that hope is everything. It gives me a sense of peace, hope, to see people, you know, a year, two years, five years, ten years out, saying, you know, you saved my life. I have more hope now than I have for the, my entire life because my mind is totally clear of alcohol and drugs and that hasn't been the case for about the last 35 years. So to have a year under my belt now, I can see the world in a different way. Addiction and mental illness are a growing epidemic, but if treated, the results can be life-altering.